Hello, it's Friday and it's flowers for the weekend and I am not alone. I've got my lovely Floral Friday lunch group with me. Say hello everyone. Hello. hello. There's hundreds. We can't get them all on the same film. So anyway, I'm here with another design to give you some inspiration for the weekend. And as we know, it's been windy, not stating the obvious, but uh, a lovely bit of twig came down and I thought, no, it's not going in the compost it's going into my design. And with sustainability at our forefront of our mind, I filled my container with some jam jars full of water, a little bit of moss, packed in nice and tight so they're not moving anywhere, and some beautiful sculptured, I love it because of the lichen involved that will pick up the color of my wonderful tulips because today, spring is in the air. So, beginning to fill my containers, with some janista, some flowering bloom to create that wonderful spring feel that I want with this particular rustic container that I've had for years and years and it does the perfect job with the design I want to create for you today. It's been nice and busy here at Beacon Hill Cottage as our Floral Fridays have been a big success and uh, not only for the flowers but also the yummy yummy hot lunch that gets prepared every week. But today is the last one for the moment and uh, I can see disappointed faces in front of me but we'll be back, we'll be back with some more Floral Fridays in September after the busy summer season has taken place. So already I'm bringing my design to life with the Janista, a few little pieces, and it's beginning to really look as though spring has sprung in my gorgeous container. And now with some rather lovely Dutch tulips, I can begin to build up and fill my test tubes making sure that I vary the uh, heights of the tulips and, um, and of course they are water guzzlers as I put it. They do love a lot of water because they will continue to grow and of course the marvellous thing with a tulip is that you never know which way tomorrow it will be facing. You can hear the birds tweeting away, they know that spring's on its way and of course as we know on TV spring definitely arrives when Saint Monty Dom begins to appear back on our screens to give us all that uh, knowledge and information that we need to begin work on our gardens to make sure that it's beautifully all in place for that summer season. So very simply putting in a selection of my tulips at different lengths you can see how those have already begun mm. to fill in. Just hooking that janista just around my twigs and it really does give a naturalistic feel to the design and of course great for the tulips just to be able to bring up that water they need and then of course the excitement tomorrow to see which way they will be facing. <laughs> I've got a little bit of code green spray croissant that uh, just giving us a different form, different flower in our design. Putting those in at a low level and uh, having a look, see how we're getting on. I might put a little bit further back and, uh, and then we will I think just take those, take your eye through the design. I'm going all the way through to the back, just like that. A couple more tulips, and I think I am done. That's all from me for this week. Do take care wherever you are. The world is in turmoil, but with flowers, we can make it a better place. Hashtag flowers for the weekend. Cheerio!